guys, welcome to the show. This is uh, MinTac. Today I have an awesome uh, range test. I'm going to take the 22 Nosler out. Three things going on, three objectives. One is to uh, test the lower that I had just recently milled out and just make sure that everything is functioning from a fire control perspective. But uh, also secondary to that, um, I am going to test out the 762 by 39 magazines to see if they reliably feed the 22 Nosler rounds. And uh, third is to actually sight in my Nikon 4 to 12 by 40 scope, which I'm pretty excited about. It was formerly on my 223 Wild um, <clears throat> build, and so I decided to put it on my Coyote Kill Gun. And so I'm excited to. Uh, test that out, get it all set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a 50 yard zero and then I'll sh uh, pull it out to 100 yards and we'll do uh, some zeroing, further zeroing in from that. I really like this Nikon scope because it does have the adjustable turrets. It doesn't require any sort of uh, tool to uh, make the adjustments. So all i got to do is uh, click for windage and elevation and then I can recenter my caps back to zero. Um, that way if I ever need to uh, you know, change out the scope rings or whatever else. Um, it'll pretty much be set, given the fact that uh, I have it in the same position on my rail. So anyway, we're gonna get that uh, zeroed in and uh, can't wait to see if the 762 by 39 magazines work for the 22 nozzle rounds. Uh, a few days ago, you did see the test after the build and they did function reliably as far as the manual check. And today we're gonna test out the uh, mechanical check. Yeah, so I'll see what that uh, those results are, and hopefully it's good. That way, you guys, if you have a 22 nozzle, you have another alternative for magazines besides the 6.S, a uh, 6.8 SPCs. Whew, it's a lot of stuff. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this episode. All right, guys, it's sort of. Uh... I think it's probably like 30 degrees out today, so it's a little warmer than the last time that I shot. And uh, what I am shooting today, make sure I have everything on target. It's looking good. I'm gonna give it a little bit more depth. Yeah, <laughs> love this scope. All right, so what I'm shooting today is of course, 22 nozzler is 55 grain ballistic tip. Um, so let's see <clears throat> if we can get her to chamber. And then we're going to take some shots. I think I have five rounds in there. And we're going to see. I want to count those rounds because I don't want to lose this brass. All right, let's drop it. Looks like it chambered okay. And uh, we're going to take our first rounds, take our first shots. All right, here we go. Finger in trigger. Dial up scope. Safety off. Here we go. First shots. Windy. Winning the wind. I might have to uh, get a little bit of a bag so we can steady this out. All right, here we go. That's two shots. Now, as far as windage, windage looks good. I need to come down about four inches. So it's on safe. We're going to adjust and go from there. Uh, that trigger um, is pretty amazing for stock. So let's get, uh, let's get this adjust and take some more shots. Okay, adjustment made. I'm going to uh, take my glove off because these are new and I want to be able to feel that trigger a little bit more than I, uh, I did. I have a feeling that I kind of 
<clears throat> let the recoil impulse take that second shot from me. So take that off. We're going to uh, reset. Be able to feel the trigger a little bit better here. There we go. Perfect as far as uh, elevation. I think I kind of moved to the right a little bit, but uh, it's center bullseye. And so I'm going to take another shot and not make any adjustments and see where I'm at. Come on, wind, stay steady. I don't want anything. That's a little high and right. One more shot. Bullseye. All right. I do have lock open, and so you can see, let's put this on safe, you can see that uh, <laughs> the uh, 762 by 39 mags are working. As far as trajectory, as far as uh, the round being thrown, the empty casing being thrown, I'm at about, uh, about between uh, 1 and 2 o'clock, so which is perfect uh, trajectory. And so everything is uh, working from a mechanical standpoint. So let's take some more shots. Um, I want to take some more shots exactly where it's at because the wind was moving a little bit. Maybe I'll do some uh, stability on the on the back end here and see if I can get some consistent two shots. And then we'll go check the paper out. And then we'll move over to the 100 yard. So I just want to say that <coughs> prior to uh, coming out to the range, a couple days ago, I actually did throw in my bore cider and uh, was able to get get it at least on paper. Where the heck are you? All right, perfect. At least get it on paper. And so I'm happy with that. So let's take some more shots. I did put three more rounds in. And uh, so let's let's take some more shots on paper here Let's see if we can get uh, some consistency Let's pull this bag in a little bit all right wind is good here we go actually want to all right, that's good enough dead center all right I'm gonna take one more shot and I'll be satisfied with that if I hit back in that black square I'm good to go and then I'll hit the uh, 100 yard range ah, that was just slightly up I'm gonna go one more shot I'm still in that kill zone Perfect. I'm happy. Once again, we get locked back with the uh, 762 by 39 magazine. So, no fear. Those 762 by 39 magazines work perfect. Um, this isn't going to be one of those 30 round uh, dumping machines. This is going to be a coyote gun where you're taking, you know, one shot at a time, hopefully, maybe three at the most, but you're hoping for one shot at a time. And so to have 762 by 39, which I think is a 20 round magazine, uh, it works awesome. So it'll work for you. All right, so let's go check out this target. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is a uh, coyote killing machine. Um, you can see my last three, <laughs> last three shots uh, were right in that box. So I might move it... Uh, 
move it left one click. But otherwise, I am extremely impressed. Thank you, Warthog71, for this coyote killer. We're going to go to 100 yards now. Guys, at the 100 yard range, I'm going to see where we sit. Stabilize. Why does it keep moving on me there? All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to dial it all the way up. Gonna take it off safe. Got my glove off. All right, let's take our first shots. All right, nice and steady. <laughs> right above the black. All right, here we go. 100 yards. I get my Noel. Take her off safety. Get a good grip of this bad boy. There we go. Good shot, no? I want to keep it right where it's at. It's uh, just look at my binoculars. Yeah, actually, my scope does a better job at this distance. <clears throat> yeah, it's slightly above. All right, you can tell the last few adjustments. I'm pretty much on them. I'm, I'm happy with that at 100 yards, um, but certainly I could uh, stand to click it down a couple clicks and we should be good to go. These are my first couple of shots, and then I brought it down a little bit, and you see <coughs> those shots right there, so it's all good. So, what did we learn today? We learned that the 762 by 39 mags work for the 22 Nosler. Perfect. Learned that the uh, the upper receiver setup is uh, awesome, very accurate, and it should make a fine coyote killing gun. And uh, I'm glad to see that my scope is uh, is doing well as far as accuracy as well. And uh, so it's good to go. I do have to check out the trigger. I, I noticed a couple of <coughs> a couple of uh, fast feeds. And uh, where I'm getting two shots with one trigger pull, so <clears throat> I might have to look at <clears throat> doing a, some adjusting to the trigger itself, whether it's that bottom floor plate <clears throat> or checking the spring, see set spring. So check that out. But otherwise, everything worked away great.